Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Darksiders 3. New series, brand new series. Uh, I'm hyped for this game. I've played both of the previous Darksiders and probably most of you who watched my channel knew that this was coming. Uh, honestly, the first Darksiders was one of my favorite games to play on this channel. And this one, well, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm holding out judgment but this one has not been getting the most stellar reviews so to speak but you know uh, reviews don't normally matter however I've seen quite a few people whose opinions I generally trust say that this game is not the best but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna like it and I'm gonna go in here with an open mind uh, the only thing that's kind of has me that kind of has me worried is that this game is essentially a Dark Souls clone and honestly I'm currently playing a Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3, and one other Dark Souls clone already, Neo, so... But you know, this one, the setting and the world and all that, is... You know, we'll go balanced, we'll go balanced. Uh, the world is very unique, and I love the Darksiders art style, and just the whole mythos, I think they really got that right. Now, I know that Darksiders 2... I kind of I didn't finish the series but the main reason for that was We should listen to this so I'm going to shut the fuck up Sin. Among the scholars of both heaven and hell this query is known as the riddle of sorrows If sin is itself a part of the grand design is not sin by definition, divine. Who the hell is voicing this? Sages, the one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. That's us, by the way. People not familiar with the Darksiders lore. Relentless, unstoppable, blood mad. Until. By four of their own. That's also us, by the way. Death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed I love these dudes. The, traitors, by those sworn the <laughs> chart council, are they? Order and chaos. The chart council. Bear witness as the council holds court to end the Nephilim war in the name of balance. This is the new pack. They look like something out of Bionicle, I swear. Subtle. So she's the asshole among the assholes. But do you I'm only kidding. Still talking. Shall I have death fetch some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder, will you light the flame of creation anew, or stomp out the embers for good? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Subtle. I'm gonna do that with every single Dark Souls reference, whether intentional or unintentional. <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? 
Her voice actor is really familiar. I don't know what else she voiced. Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am. Perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. So yeah, again, I, I like the visuals and the atmosphere of this world and kind of the mythos as well please, really please please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slaying or two war what pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself brother watch your tongue <laughs> i may be least favored of all the horsemen but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog fury I'm, I can't tell if he's voiced by Liam O'Brien or not. Probably not. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the seventh seal. <sighs> the apocalypse. Why would he... We know not yet. All right, Bionicle, chill out. Earth falls beneath the spears of heaven. And the hammers of hell. So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Charred Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. <laughs> we should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. I was gonna say. Deadly sins have been released. By whom we cannot say, but the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep, but when this task who? Is ready, God damn. It's gonna be bugging me. I cannot figure out who the voice actor is. For a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. This is the weird thing, like we've never actually seen what these guys can do. They're like supposed to be very threatening, but greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. Unfortunately, not Mark Hamill. You doubt my allegiance? Please be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. She's like Only puny ass knows. wings. Enough! I will allow you to accompany. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Stay this is kind of cool that the Watcher, because the Watcher in Darksiders 1 is an absolute dick. Voiced by Mark Hamill, which is good, of course. So essentially the Joker. Fury, wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. No, he, I mean, he might actually be voiced by him. I think, yeah. I cannot tell. War never really spoke like that in the original game. So yeah, let's get started. I like... One thing I always liked about Darksiders is that... All the stories kind of take place parallelly. It looks like this one is taking place, I think officially, I've read somewhere that this is taking place the same time as Darksiders 2, but before Darksiders 1. Because like war only gets to Earth after 100, 100 years, I think, and we're before that. Because <clears throat> by that time there's like no humans left and all that. All right, load times. I have heard that this game is sort of old school, which I don't, I really don't mind. 
again, the thing I really like mainly about this game, more so than... Well, I like the combat as well, but the exploration and all that, and the world. It looks like the... Yeah, the combat is still based on the same... Is it? Wait, wait a second. Because Darksiders combat was like very stagger based if you know okay press and hold I'm gonna have to look at this uh, hold on Had, oh there we go oh that, that's weird that you scroll down with yeah delay yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah so this was always kind of combat system was based on delays and based on when you would delay you would get different types of moves all right let's get going here fuck these signs in particular okay that's not how you lock on what a bitch all right l2 soul lurchers blah blah okay yeah how do you dodge Oh, okay, R R2, yeah, yeah. The combat system is, according to people, way more methodical, a la Dark Soulsy. And getting used to R2 as a dodge is gonna have to be... Like, it's gonna be weird. How come, like, all the games I'm playing have different button dodges? It's okay. I can handle myself. Okay, that's a cool combo. A wombo combo. Okay, those do home in automatically. Don't need to worry about them. That is nice. I mean, like, I'm unliking the setting so far. The whip is... I like whips as weapons. Of course, God of War popularized it, but a single whip works really well as well. Well as well, it's so weird. What up? Ambush just... Whatever. I'm guessing all of these are demons. I know how to double jump, thank you game. Oh, that's really good. Keep pressing X. But that's... That's our good friend Neo. Not this game. Look at this. Whatever you're cooking. Fuck it. I'm guessing you can jump into the air after that. Figure out all the moves. I'm assuming we're gonna be getting more moves as we go along. As you tend to do. Okay, you can sprint faster, I was gonna say. But I was wondering. The last thing I'm wondering is how open world this game will be because, you know, the thing is, I feel like you could jump over there, but I don't know. Yep, I mean, if you have a whip, you might as well have a mechanic like this. So, Darksiders 1 was basically a Metroidvania type game, or Legend of Zelda, as in, you know, it's an interconnected world, but not really open, and then you need certain items to unlock hey, stuff in other places. For what, vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. <sighs> Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I. It's a bird person. I know not, but what the council commands, Mistress. The quest for the seven begins here. So she just knows. Isn't this the same guy from uh, Dark Siders? Oh, it's Envy. She's Scottish? Or just Old English, ye. Protecting humans. Humans think creation favors them. They Pretty sure that this enemy was in Darksiders 2 as well, wasn't <laughs> it? A crow thing, the first boss in that game. When they have nothing 
left, they will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> we'll see about oh, that. I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! God. I'm never gonna get used to the fucking... <laughs> Press up. To quickly... S okay. Essentially Estus. Okay. I didn't think we'd, be we'd be getting to boss action this close. And man, I'm sucking. Thought she was going. I was like, that was quick. Oh, we have to go up. I was like, what the hell? She can grab onto ledges. It's not what you have to do. All right. And your boy's got this figured out. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. I got this. I got this. Oh. Oh, she stays there. So you have to double jump. Okay. Ah, oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I am sucking at this game so far. I wonder if you can block too. I'd sure as hell like to block that. I'm dead. Fuck. First boss. Didn't even get a quarter of the way in. It's okay. Now I'm an expert, so... I don't mind the challenge, by the way. Uh, the first game was challenging in a few places. The second one got challenging a few places as well. So I don't mind if this game is difficult. I heard that it is, and I'm happy about that. Just, the controls are fucking me up because, again, I'm playing three Souls-like games. As I said, one of them is actually a Souls game. But it's okay. Again, it only takes me one death to learn the game. You know how I am. From now on, it's going to be a no death, no bonfire run, as we always do. Those things are my specialty. No hit as well. From here on out. Oh, spawn me back at the beginning. Damn. Wonder how this game handles the soul replenishment thing. Wrath attack. Was it R2L2? I'll save that for our friend. And these enemies are bitches, like, holy shit. We do have a running attack, I was like... That's what I was wondering about. That was a little bit too much delay. I'm gonna have to get used to these combo timings. Yeah, I'm delaying too much sometimes. Like I said. Fuck that plate in particular. I think I missed an enemy. Whatever. So do you just swing on this naturally or what? It's my question. Oh, that is just like a general explosion attack. Oh, nice. Well timed dodges, that's a thing. It's gonna be sick. I like games where you have well timed dodges. Now I know what to do. Oh, 
Ain't gonna be happening. Not this time around. Alright. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Halfway there. Oh, hello. She likes that attack, doesn't she? Nice counter by me. Being an expert, of course, you know. Are we are we just playing Tekken? We just keep going through the floors. Better not lost my souls. I would be. Oh damn! I'm gonna heal because I feel like an explosion might end me. There we go. Fuck. Fell off. That's my souls. Give me that shit. I didn't kill it, did I? Yes, I did. I'll take my souls for <laughs> for a death. Fuck. <clears throat> okay. Am I dead or am I dead? I think I'm dead. Are you kidding me? She's not grabbing on. She's an idiot. Man. Lara Croft has you beat? Damn. Should have picked story mode, fuck. Or story difficulty. No, I'm only kidding, of course. Now I really got this. It only takes me two deaths to figure out the game. And after that, it is no bonfire, no death, and no hit. These controls got me fucked up, though. I'm gonna have to look at, like, alternate layouts where... Like, why can't L1 be lock-on, circle be dot, but then what would be jump? That's the question. Depends on how jumpy this game is, but... What what does circle do? We ain't seen circle do shit. So maybe circle could be dodge. Circle don't do shit. I'm gonna kill these guys just... Because I'm mad. I don't know what these yellow things are. Wrath meter, I'm assuming. Alright. Watch this. No hits so far. So I'm keeping one part of my promise. I'm liking this wombo combo. No hits. See? Told you. That was a hit. No worries. That was a fake ass hit though. Alright. Look at them combo extensions. That's the enemy I missed. Not today. No escape, buddy. She, she, gla she grabbed onto that one, but not the one in the boss room. God damn it. All right, she lets go by her own. Watch this. Now we actually got this. She freaks out quickly when you think about it. So, this boss so far is fairly interesting. I like the mix of platforming as well. I didn't think I had enough space. Eat shit.
Oh, yeah, that's oh, the dodge animation. Look at them counters. Counters all day. Most days. So since I, since I do not want to risk getting insta death, I'm a I'm a heal up. My souls are in there. Oh, now she grabbed on. Fuck you. Rule of threes, I was kind of in that. But I feel like... Am I going to be able to still get my thing? Got your necklace, <laughs> necklace bitch. Can't even speak, but that's okay. Oh, because she's envy. Or is it a he? No, that's a she. There's my souls. You better... What a bitch. How weak is she? You better let me get that game. I think, yes. Oh, mistress. Not to be a bother. But weren't you supposed to catch Envy? Oh, we killed I her. Did. She just knows what that does. This watcher is like, she looks like she's an like an action figure or something. If you look at her texture, it's like she's made of plastic. This talisman. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a, well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow will indicate when one of the seven is nearby. I know. So all right, chill out. You are all that the council promised. Mrs. Is this one gonna be like fangirling over us throughout the whole game? Voice, you better not leave. At least you better let me come back here. Talisman of sin will guide you to deadly sins. It will display at the top of the screen in direct. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We got. Free reign, essentially, right? Give me, give me them souls. Alright. <clears throat> that went without a single hitch. No problems on any front there. Because that's how I am an expert, of course. So far, I'm liking this game. Um, we'll see what kind of the rest of it has in store, but... Right now, Megusta, that's all I would say. I this would mushroom. In my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift, one I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and We know that, we know that. We played Darksiders 1. Hope hope we'll get to fight angels as well. Those ones are cool. Is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an Is that where we started? No, feels like it. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. But this is a very Perhaps chummy relationship so far. Assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. Alright. Sounds good. And sounds about as <clears throat> good a place as end this episode. So far, again, I am enjoying Darksiders 3. Yeah, she's cool. I like Fury. I like the whip. 
even the souls like combat whatever you know no stamina meter at least and I mean, when you think about it darksiders 2 kind of had the dodgy mechanic as well with iframes and all that you know the first one as well just the ho first one felt different i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching as i wail on this particular oil barrel yeah there's a giant chasm so no gestures in this game but <clears throat> thanks for watching and goodbye